as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know of a spot in my house where no one will stand in my way. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. On the wing of my fancy, I can fly anywhere, and the world will open its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in I'm an heiress who has always had her silk made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. I'm a girl men go mad for and loves a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner. So what if I do have a dream to see the prince again and tell him what life in his kingdom is really like and what it could be? Exactly. And then to have him fall in love with you. Oh, no one would fall in love with me. So why do you come to visit me tonight? I just knew I would find you in the same little chair in the pale pink mist of a foolish dream. I am being foolish. Then be foolish with me. What would you dream of? Why, an invitation to the ball, I guess. Hmm. Right here. There's an invitation. What? But it's torn. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just go. Now, what else would you dream of? Oh, a white gown, I imagine. A beautiful white gown sewn up with pearls and jewels and a tiara of diamonds. And on your feet? Why, the most beautiful Grogain pumps, I'd imagine. No, better. The Venetian glass that your stepmother so loves and her trinkets and bubbles. An entire pair of shoes made of only Venetian glass. <laughs> oh, how silly. I'd be the envy of all. But how would I get to the ball? Well, this pumpkin over here. Yes? I'll turn it into a golden carriage. <laughs> And horses? Those mice trapped in this cage. <laughs> and and a fox as a footman. And a raccoon as a driver. <laughs> oh, you are crazy, Marie. Why, in order to do that, you would have to be a fairy godmother. <gasps> Marie! But you're a crazy woman! What are you doing in that beautiful gown? <laughs> You'd be surprised how many beautiful gowns have crazy women in them. <laughs> Are you really my fairy godmother? But of course, my child. Actually, I'm everyone's fairy godmother. But you're the only one who's given me charity, generosity, and kindness. And now I must make all the dreams we joked about come true. But that's so improbable, implausible. 